It is one thing to read about a historical figure, but it's an entirely different experience to come and be in a space like this, their home, a place they loved and found comfort in. This was the home of Adelaide E. Stevenson II, known as the man from Libertyville. Stevenson served as governor of Illinois from 1949 to 1953, ran twice for the presidency as the Democratic national candidate in 1952 and 1956, and served as United States ambassador to the United Nations from 1961 until his death in 1965. These are just a few among various other roles included in his lengthy resume. Throughout his career, Stevenson was greatly admired for his honesty, wit, and wisdom, as many of the topics he discussed over 50 years ago are still applicable to us today. Stevenson's story is an Illinois story, and such a unique and important one to tell, and this site reflects him in so many ways. He has a deep family history in Bloomington, worked in Chicago, Washington, D.C., New York City, and around the world, but he chose to live here in Lake County. This was the only house that Stevenson ever owned, and it was a refuge for him from his hectic political life. We often use the phrase, if these walls could talk. Well, with historic preservation and research of spaces like this, we hope that they are able to do just that. So how are museums and historic sites able to learn and tell the stories of the past? The National Park Service defines historic preservation as a conversation with our past about our future. We are able to have this conversation through collecting and preserving historic documents, objects, structures, and more. Each source provides information and details for us to study and learn from. The Best Bauer Dunn Museum's collections consist of nearly 20,000 items made and used by people and 1,000 linear feet of archival materials, including photos and documents. The collections help to preserve the stories and history of Lake County, Illinois. Today, this home is part of the Lake County Forest Preserves, and Stevenson-related materials are part of the Dunn Museum's collection. Preserving structures like this home allow us to be in the space where Stevenson met with John F. Kennedy, as well as other famous political figures, actors, and writers of the day. Stevenson loved to take walks around the property, ice skate, fish, and canoe on the Des Plaines River, which runs along the western edge of the property. He spent as much time as he could here with family, friends, and other important guests. Visiting this site connects you to Stevenson and his story and makes history come alive, where you can relate to it on a more personal level. The home is a designated Illinois historic site since 1984 and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2003. In 2014, the home was also designated a National Historic Landmark which marks it as a place that has been determined to be nationally significant in American history and culture. Many of the most renowned historic properties in the nation are landmarks. Here we have campaign buttons, pins, and bumper stickers, photographs, typed speeches from his campaigns for president, a campaign brochure about the issues of 1956, vinyl record albums of his speeches and songs and stories written by those who knew and worked with him, a Life magazine cover from 1965, portraits both in art print and a photograph by renowned photographer Arnold Newman, and even a comic book about his life. From these items, we can learn about Stevenson's thoughts and stance on issues in the 1952 and 1956 presidential campaigns. We can see how he was advertised to voters through various campaign-related materials that could be worn, displayed, or read. And we gain insight into the character, personality, and life of this important historical figure. Historic preservation can be as big as a house and as small as a campaign button. This important work ensures that our history is preserved for future generations to learn from as well. And by preserving items related to historic individuals, such as Stevenson, we can also see what lessons we might be able to learn and apply to our own lives. Here at the Lake County Forest Preserves and its Dunn Museum, we keep working towards ensuring that we preserve and tell as many stories of the various people who lived in this area over time. To learn more about Stevenson, as well as other aspects of Lake County history, check out additional videos on Dunn TV and upcoming programs on our calendar of events.